Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The Australian dollar's short-term squeeze eventually lost momentum on Wednesday around the 60-day moving average of 66 1995 from the tumble, the market now poses a further threat to the downside and looks towards 66.45 as the initial target and seem minor, as a break there would give further scope towards 65.90 with the objective at 65.40. Any advancement is expected to be limited. Moving on to the euro, the market was weaker and now pressures the level around 108.35 to 45 and still keeping to the objective of 107.70. Given the fact that this diamond formation is negative and after the failed upside attempt, the market over the last two and a half days has remained weak. With all eyes now looking towards the US jobs report, the market is expecting around 224,000 jobs added with the previous release at seen at 339,000 while the unemployment rate is seen from to a forecast of 3.6 from 3.7. Based on the technical assessment, the RSI is negative, the ADX is supporting a bear trend and also married up to the RSI is the MACD that supports the downside case. Well now going into the fifth consecutive day, the dollar yen remains directionless and still hovers beneath the key level of 145. I still feel with declining technicals that we are going to possibly see a challenge towards this trend line which is somewhere around the region of 143.65 and reassess from there. As long as that maintains, the market is likely to rebound and possibly see a rechange of that 145. However, beneath 143.65, the next target is seen somewhere around 140. The dollar story remains strong and after recapturing 103, the sterling outlook is still remaining flat into the fourth day, but still technically it's weak. And therefore, the call still remains towards the region of 125.20 and any upside attempts is expected to fail above 127. After posting four consecutive upward days, gold reverses around that 1,930 level and posts the engulfing candle, which waits confirmation. If we see a break of 1,906, this would enforce further downside risk to rechange the three month lows around 1,890 with the broader call at 1,850. If any advancement still looks limited towards that top side of 1,932 or around 3032. Wrapping up with oil, well, the market still remains somewhat slightly to a positive approach and now technically may actually see a little bit more upstep due to the ADX trending and also the both indicators support a bullish case in the short term. Although the broader aspect is at 65 to 74, the market now looks towards 72, 80, 85 as in the next challenge, which is about 100 points away and reassess. Well, that's a wrap for the day. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the interest report, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.